Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your September 2023. You're going to apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This is a single uh, love reading for you guys, okay? So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, uh, what your blocks and challenges are, and then we'll finish off the read to see, uh, you know, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, uh, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in uh, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. All right. So tell me about single Gemini people. Single Gemini people. Tell me about single Geminis. What's going on with single Geminis in love? What is going on with single Geminis in love for September 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. What are their blocks and challenges in love? For September 2023, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Geminis. All right, we have a ton of pentacles here. We have the four of cups. The strength card, Leo energy. And the Knight of Wands. I feel like you're patiently waiting for someone to come back to make you an offer here. The problem is this person has been very in and out of your life. You know, one of the blocks and challenges also, you know, for some of you guys, some of you guys really enjoy being single. Really enjoy your freedom here. Really enjoy just doing your own thing, you know, not having to answer to anybody. So some of you guys could be in this energy of like, you know what, I'm just not ready for love. That's okay. You know, but you know, another storyline that I'm getting here, I just feel like someone here is waiting for someone to come back to make some sort of offer or some sort of apology here. Uh, there's definitely an energy of putting your eggs all into one basket here, which I highly recommend not doing. But at the end of the day, you know, it's your life. You have free will. You could do what you want. The strength card, Leo energy, the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. And we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, one of the things I'm also getting is that I feel like you guys are looking for love in all the wrong places here. Because I feel like the people that you're meeting or the people that you're coming across, they're, they're just not on the same level as you here, Gemini. I mean, these, could, these individuals could be em emotionally immature. They could be very childish. You know, they don't really quite know how to communicate. I mean, I, I do feel like you, you know, I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like you guys are completely blocked from love, but I just feel like you guys are looking for the right person. You're looking for that person or you're waiting for that person to come in. That is marriage material. You know, someone here who's mature, someone here who's, you know, very caring, very nurturing, very giving, you know, someone here that you see growth and expansion here with. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands, the Empress, Libra, Taurus. Tell me about the strength card here. It just seems like you're waiting for the right person here too. The Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card. The Knight of Wands here and the Ten of Swords. You know, for, for some of you guys, some of your blocks and challenges is that you guys don't want to be a player anymore. Some of you guys are actively working on your own self-worth here. Yeah, some of you guys are actively working on your own self-worth here. I feel like, you know, maybe some of you guys could be in this energy of like, you know, I've hurt so many people, I've betrayed so many people, I just don't want to do that anymore. I mean, you could switch the rules if you want, you know, you know, it, it, I mean, this could apply to someone that you know. Uh, King of Pentacles. Five of Cups, Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone here is definitely dealing with regrets. Now, let's say if someone here was in player mode here, was just non-committal, and you lost out on the Empress here, you know, I do feel like this person's regretful of, of that. This person's regretful of that. Now, if you're standing this in this Empress energy, 
you know, you could be fine. You know, there could be like for you, there's no blocks and challenges, but there could be blocks and challenges with this masculine here. Okay. All right. Tell me uh, uh, what else the single Gemini's need to know. What else the single Gemini's need to know? Look out for work on here. Is there anyone new coming into single Gemini's life when it comes to love? For um, September 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Geminis. Wheel of Fortune. Six of Swords. You know, this Empress could have moved on. You know, moved on, learned their lessons. And I feel like, you know, for this masculine, this masculine's in the process of learning their lessons and moving on here. Or making some changes, you know, making some big changes. Judgment card, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, someone here is definitely making some big changes. Someone here is completely, completely changing their behavior here. Now, it could be a situation that with this Empress here, maybe you're changing your behavior on how you meet people. You know, how you, you, you'll you deal with certain people, you know? So um, just apply this to your own unique situation. We have a full card, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, Judgment Sagittarius energy. With the two of cups here and the five of cups. I do feel like, I do, I do feel like there's someone here. I mean, you might be even feeling this person's energy. You might be feeling their deep regret here. But I feel like someone here is completely changing their behavior. Yeah. I mean, maybe... If you're this empress here, you might have forced this person, this masculine here, to heal their inner child, to heal their inner child wounds here. So I feel like in a way, it's not a complete loss. I feel like you might have, in a way, helped this person here, even though if you got hurt by this individual, you know? So the star Aquarius energy, the uh, page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, judgment, with the Two of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Three of Cups. I do feel like someone here wants to reunite with you. I do feel like someone here wants to reconcile here with you. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this Empress is just allowing this person, leaving this person where they are at and letting them figure it out on their own. Because I feel like if, if you're this Empress here, you're realizing that you can't help this person. So the decision that this person is making is up to them. It's on them. Like you can't help them with this decision here. You know, I feel like this person is definitely coming in and asking you for advice. You know what I mean? So um, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Five of Cups, and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Someone here has really learned some big lessons here. Someone here has really learned some big lessons and they feel like someone here is making some big changes. Is there anyone new? I don't feel that. I just feel like someone here, you know, I feel like this Empress triggered this King of Pentacles to work on themselves, to heal, okay? So, um, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.